Hello everybody. It's Wednesday now and my federal return came into my checking like it was supposed to so I ordered the TV today and it says that it won't be there till the 6th site to store at Walmart. I don't know why. It Every time I looked at it before it said it would take two days and now it's gonna take like a week but whatever. So we, we will still go to Sheboygan on Friday to get the mounting kit and the sound bar but we'll have to make another trip to Sheboygan to pick up the TV whenever it's actually there. But it's bought so we know we're gonna get it and otherwise nothing has really happened yet. I worked yesterday and now I don't work again for another week. They've got me down to one day a week, six hours. I don't know, everybody else gets 25 to 35 hours a week, not counting the head manager because she's a workaholic and gets like 50 hours a week, but not counting her, the normal employees get uh, 25 to 35 hours a week so I don't know what I'm doing wrong but obviously they hate me and they want me to quit but big surprise I'm not gonna so they'll have to deal with it I'd get a job somewhere else if the jobs weren't all so far away we're talking Petoskey, Sheboygan, Gaylord those, those are all long drives away uh, anywhere from an hour to two hours away there's just no jobs here and it's snowing out a little bit it snowed quite a bit overnight we have more coverage again so good for that it'll be a long time before we see the ground and the leaves and grass and stuff a very long time the groundhog does not apply here whenever the groundhog doesn't see its shadow six weeks till spring is a great big laughing joke here in Michigan because that's not happening right tug and Don's out looking for look or yeah looking for the mail checking the mail as far as I know and I have Pokemon Go on even though I haven't played it in months because they said there's supposed to be Pokemon with flowers on their head today well a few have shown up but nothing like that and otherwise that's just the beginning of our day and that's how it's going so big deal so we're kind of low on food right now I mean not all food we have a ton of chicken but we're low on other things so I didn't know what to make for lunch so I just decided to take a mini a mini pizza crust one serving of the pizza sauce and one serving of cheese which is the last of the cheese and just bake it into a little cheese pizza for lunch and then for dinner I'm going to make rice with chicken broth instead of water and then this is the last of the turkey thawing here so we'll have that browned in a pan like I like to do makes it taste really good and there's hominy for me I only use one serving of hominy at a time so I can break a can of hominy up into a bunch of different meals and Don doesn't like it so I don't have to share and then Don will have whatever vi uh, vegetable he wants maybe peas I don't hate peas but they're not my first choice so Don eats all the peas. Smokey! Yeah! Smokey! And you haven't seen Don yet, but now he's out in the bravada, which we have been using for storage, digging around for a flower pot because we got rid of all that, that aloe, all those uh, aloe plants, because we didn't have room for them. And he's saving one in a normal size flower pot. So we had way too much aloe but he squished a bunch of aloe out of the one before he threw it away and we have it here in the refrigerator Google says put it in the refrigerator so if we burn ourselves we have uh, aloe but it's a pretty uneventful day right now I am almost done with my book I have like a chapter and a half and then I can start the next one so after this comes this so that'll be good. I mean, I could I could probably read one of these books in a day or two, but there's other things I like to do too. I don't just sit and constantly read. 
so and there's just Judge Maybelline on and the People's Court was on and Judge Judy was on and it's court all afternoon. It's either that or soap operas. I don't like soap operas so we're not doing that. So Don cannot find a pot in the bravada. He can't even get to the bravada. No, too buried and Craig shelling out there and just his snow is too froze. Yeah, so he's going to run into town and buy a pot. Yeah, they're not that expensive. No. Pretty cheap. Yeah. And get whatever else you think you need. Alright. I already told Don that I've come to the conclusion that we must take this stand and the plants and put it here in the corner. When we put the fireplace here, it's going to be under the new TV. And put his chair right there. We have to. There's no other choice. But I told him to switch the two plants around so this one is closer to the window because this is the one that's sickly and having problems. You can see there are hardly any leaves at all now. So it's the one that needs the sun more because the one right next to it is doing pretty good. So. But with the wood stove right here, there's nowhere else a piece of furniture can go except over here. And then his little table will be on that wall on the other side of his chair. You don't care about any of that, do you, Tug? And then here's Smokey just chilling out. And Gizzard the bathroom kitty, as always. Gizzard! 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 Hey! Gizzard? Hi, Gizzard. He's like, let me sleep. Leave me alone. I was up all night running around and I'm tired. Well, whose fault is that? And just a few minutes ago, I figured out where to put the Beatles picture. I took this down. And I'm debating on whether to keep it or not. Because it's really ripped up. And pretty faded out. But I do like sh the show Sherlock, so I might just roll it all up and put a rubber band around it and put it away. I'm not sure. There. I rolled it up and put it together with rubber bands and put it up on that shelf. And now I will forget it's there for years and years and years. But oh well. And I also put this right here under the second shelf of movies. So little by little I'm finding places for things. But I don't have these put up yet. I'll probably wait until we have the 42 inch TV on this dresser and then I'll get a chair and put them side by side up there closer to the ceiling. That way the TV's not blocking them and they have a place again. Here comes Don with his pot and some dirt. Are you happy now that you have your pot? A pot? Yeah, your pot. Depends on what kind of pot you're talking about. Flower pot. We doing good. I'm just drop it on the floor. There we go. A pot for the aloe. And dirt for the aloe. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So how are the roads? Not too bad. Yeah. Well, you get into Anway, no snow. You get mean, into Tower, we got snow. You mean snowing? Yep. There's plenty of snow everywhere. There. The, the edge of it's by Moran's. The edge of this snow? Yeah. Huh. Where it's coming down at. You drive out of it and drive into it right about there. Oh yeah? Yeah. So he's going to take one of these aloe plants out and keep it and get rid of the rest. Because he needs this big flower pot for something else. You having fun over there with your dirt? Oh yeah. Don't let that dirt spill on the carpet. And you can check it out. <laughs> no, you can get the vacuum and suck it up. You are the vacuum. 
Gizzard. Gizzard. Quit licking your butt. Come here. Smokey. Smokey. You don't need that dirt. Dirt's yucky. Dirt's not food. It's a matter your back hurts? Yeah. Huh. Oh, don't break the pot. Oh, at least it's on the table. Yeah. Stop making a mess! I'll take this one here. Oh, hold that leaf. That dirt smells like summertime. We're definitely not going to go outside and smell dirt right now around here. Small pots, you keep a small plant. Yeah. Yay. I'm just going to do it some water. Yep. So I figured out how to get into the sound bar. This just pulls off. And it looks like the only circuitry is right here. And I don't know what's wrong with it. And I don't know how to fix it either. I don't see anything wrong. I have a feeling if we take the screws out, it might just be hollow in there. Well, maybe not, because there's buttons here. I don't know. I'm just wondering if a whole bunch of dust got in here. Can't find anything online about anybody else having this kind of problem. That's not for you. Everything you think is for you. But it would be nice to be able to fix it and keep using it in here in this room, but I don't think so. I finally got it open, but... I have no idea. I mean, here's where the buttons are, but it doesn't even look dirty in there. I have no idea what could be wrong. Between all of this and this and all the wiring going from here to here, because there's nothing back here, nothing, nothing in there. I have no idea what could be going on, so I guess we have to throw this away and give up on it, because I guess that's what happens when something becomes like seven years old. So here's the turkey all browned up. And the instant rice with the chicken broth is in the microwave. And there's hominy for me and peas for Don. And Don's being nice and doing the dishes for me. Yeah. Thank you. Oh yeah. <laughs> Gotta get this heated up and mold down. And there's the sound bar outside waiting to go to the dump, which is very sad for me to see, but it's not going to work anymore, or not going to work right anyway, so it's time to say goodbye.
So we came here to Dollar General to get some more of those good LED bulbs from the house to try to make things a little brighter. And we had to park way over here because there's nowhere else to park. The place is full. There, these are changed and that one is changed. And the next batch of bulbs we get, that one will be changed. So this room is brighter now. Yep. So you got one more bulb that you can put in and you want that in the lamp out there? Yes, I bought an extra bulb because I bought a pack of four but then I I knew I needed five so I bought an, a single one for the light in the living room. But yeah, I think that's definitely going to help with the lighting in here. Don't you? Yeah. He's putting all the old bulbs in that box. We're not going to throw them away. We're going to save them as spares. Yeah, save them as spares in case one bulb blows and we've got something to back up. Yeah. Back up, so. so yesterday, Smokey caught a mouse in this corner. Oh, now he's after a sinker on, my, on our fishing poles. Hey, you leave that alone. Stop messing with the fishing poles. You're going to get hurt. There's still hooks in there. Come on, Smokey. Get out of there. I'll have to have Don take the hooks off. But there was a mouse here in this corner and Smokey took care of it. And here's the separate one I bought. It was $275 with a 40% off sale, so let's see. $165 instead. That's pretty good when it was $275 to start with. There, I think that's brighter. Not tremendously, but it is better. And I'm thinking about getting us, when I can, one of those stand-up lights that go in the corner. And when everything is rearranged, we'll put it in that dark-ass corner over there. So, we're working on trying to get better lighting around here. I've been editing the video, and Don's been making himself macaroni to eat. Mm -hmm. With a lot of garlic, because that's all I could smell as I was editing. Right? Oh, yeah. You put a bunch of garlic in there, right? Yeah, put some garlic in there. Enough to smell the whole house up. No. Yes. Hey, Tug and Smokey. So cute. So this turned out to be another long video of me just rambling on and on. But tomorrow I don't know what's going to happen. I know we're not going anywhere because I spent up what extra money I did have and now we're waiting for our normal paydays on Friday which we'll go to Sheboygan and get some other things we need but we're gonna say good night and we hope you enjoyed the video and that you like subscribe comment share and you're having a good night say good night good night Smokey and we'll see you next time